Rwanda has been named as the safest country for solar travelers in Africa and the sixth on the planet according to a study conducted by Usebounce, a renowned travel website. The country was the only one in the Africa to make it into the top 10 list, which is led by Switzerland with a score of 21.7% for the crime index and 783 for the security index, followed by Slovenia with a crime index of 22.3% and the security index of 77.7%. Now, according to the survey, the main criteria based on were the score of the crime index, the score of the security index, which are the main factors that a traveler is considered prior to boarding a plane to a certain country. Japan was the third, the only, rather the third and the only Asian country to make it on the list, having a crime index of 22.4% and the security index of 77.7%. Now, according to the survey, Rwanda has invested much effort in its national security by building competent and professional security organs. This is not the first time uh, to, for Rwanda to be listed among the safest countries globally. In 2018, the GALP Global Law and Order Report ranked the country as the second safest on the African continent with 83% of the residents expressed evidence, rather confidence, in the local police force. Now, in the previous year, the same index had ranked Rwanda among the safest countries globally that provided a conducive atmosphere to people who walk alone at night. Now, earlier today, I spoke to the police spokesperson, CP John Bosco Cabera, to tell us how, uh, what makes Rwanda stand out when it comes to international rankings in safety and security. First of all, how did uh, the national police welcome this as the people who are you know, meant to ensure law and order uh, in our country? I think, sure, it's good news. It's good news, first, because police is working very hard in collaboration with other security agencies and working with the population. So uh, I think it's good news. Two, but it is also a challenge to work even harder because, as you have just said, uh, we, are, we are lanked. Uh, amongst the top 10. Mm. So we need to, to work even harder to, to, to achieve more. Thirdly, I think it, it's also an encouragement to the citizens to work even more frequently and all the time with the police because you cannot achieve that alone as a police institution. Mm. How should we trust uh, this research? Um, do you know about it? Is it something that you actually think it is very credible? Well, uh, I think this is not the first research that talks about security and safety in Rwanda. We've been seeing what has, what has been going on uh, for several years, uh, including in the in the country uh, itself, where Rwandan trusted Rwandan security agencies are uh, very much trusted by by the citizens, and the police has been uh, also was being ranked among as the one of the trusted security organs. So internationally, you have seen what they think the reporter is just mentioning about the ranking in previous years. So oh. we, we think it is credible. We think you can trust it, but also it gives us challenge to work even harder. That's what I'm saying. What do you need to do to make sure that, I mean, you're number six in the world. Um, how can Rwanda be among the top five now going forward? Yeah, we need to see the report. We we'll read it carefully, we analyze it, and we we'll see where you can put much more effort, where you need the collaboration, where you need to build the synergies. And um, I think we can be able to do it. From the security perspective, what do you think makes Rwanda uh, one of the safest countries on the planet Earth? Yeah, it's uh, the security agencies, the security organs, uh, and co working in collaboration with the citizens. And I think this has to be harnessed. This has to be improved day by day, month by month, year by year. So um, just because uh, the security wants to ensure law and order, uh, public safety, if the citizens are not very much committed to this, I think we can ne not achieve it. So well, we need really to, to appreciate those who have participated who get involved day by day, who pass on information related to any possible cause of insecurity. And uh, we shall keep doing this uh, as long as we, we see it is uh, actually being um, realized and uh, bearing fruits.